Hey guys, welcome to Little Big Podcast. This is episode 160. Alright, thanks for joining us this week. We are going to actually send you guys immediately to a video where me and Tyler Stewart from LVP2 Blog talk a rumor about LVP carding. At the time, it was a rumor. Now it is officially confirmed by PlayStation. No news on who's developing or anything yet, so it's still all up in the air. So hope you enjoy that. And also, a quick note, we will end immediately after that interview. And I would just like to mention that we are going to be able to talk to people about uh, Little Big Planet Vita this week. So we will probably be releasing a video about some of your questions on it very soon. So make sure you uh, send us in your questions and we'll keep working on getting those answered. Thanks for joining us and uh, we will send you guys off to me and Tyler Stewart talking about uh, Little Big Planet carding. All right, thanks for joining us. We are going to have a little chat with Tyler from LBP2 Blog. And uh, me and him were talking the other night about some of the possibilities of uh, Little Big Planet carding. So we're going to go ahead and get started off with talking about some of our different thoughts about the subjects. So Tyler, um, this was announced at Destination PlayStation, yeah. but a lot of details were kind of shady. Who do you think is going to be developing this game? I think either Fireproof because of the staff like from uh, Burnout. They used to make all these racing games or United Front Gaming. Right. Okay. Yeah, United Front Games was behind uh, Mod Nation Racers. Yeah. And the guys at Fireproof, they definitely have quite a bit of racing experience under their yes. belt as well. So uh, kind of uh, open on that one. Uh, who was it now? Uh, United Front said that they were going to be announcing a new game sometime in January. Yeah. But that turned out to be um, a different game. So. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's still possible that they divided yeah. the team in half to work on it, but, you know, someone still on, in the dark. Someone on PlayStationRealms.com, I think that's the URL, but um, April 2011, she said that she has an inside source. I don't know from where, she didn't say anything, but she said that United Front Gaming is making it, and it's a completely new game, but I'm not really sure. It's a little iffy, I'm not sure. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be making a lot of claims, but... Yeah. um. Until there's an official release from Sony, uh, mm -hmm. it's pretty much guesswork for now. But yeah. it is quite interesting to be um, at the point where we're guessing who's making it. Uh -huh. um, I don't think it's Media Molecule, to be Definitely very not. honest with you, because yeah. they are branching away from the Little Big Planet franchise, but uh -huh. it is interesting. So, what are your thoughts on. Uh, Sony now hosting two separate play, create, share genre racing games. Oh man, that's crazy! It's kind of a cluster. It's like it's kind of iffy. It's like I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It's um, like oh, two. They both do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I think there's gonna have to be a definite selling point on yeah. uh, Little Big Planet carding, or I, I'm not really sure any of the details yet but i think there will have mm -hmm. to be a definite selling point for people to want to pick this up but i think with the possibilities from the original series i think it will definitely work with the create mode because the new type of create mode besides uh my nation racers i think there's gonna be a whole different type of create mode it's gonna be amazing right yeah and uh, with the flexibility of the create mode, as yeah. is in Little Big Planet, you know, two and one, uh, uh -huh. it'd be interesting to see what kind of mechanics they can work from those games into uh, Little Big Planet karting, which is obviously going to have to be in a three-dimensional world. So yeah, how I see it is as it's not another type of Modern Nation Racers. I see it as another aspect of Little Big Planet two, because with the three D glitch that was in. Little Big Planet 1, and then the, the 3D camera glitch is kind of like a mix of those two. I just see it as another aspect of Little Big Planet 1, or the right. Little Big Planet series. Yeah, and uh, some of my thoughts, and I'm not really sure if I talk to you about this or not, but uh -huh. um, I think it'd be really cool to be able to implement Little Big Planet 2 into Little Big Planet carding somehow. Like, you could design an object uh -huh. in LBP2, and then take that object and put it in your track in the game. Which, do, yeah. I don't even know if that's feasible, but it would uh -huh. definitely be cool. Yeah. Um, looking from the, the banner photo that was leaked on Twitter, uh, there is, like, there's a, a bunny costume in one of the screenshots, and that's another costume from Loba Planet 1, so we might right. be seeing import 
from the real game to the racing game. Right, and that's interesting. Now the um, Little Big Planet Vita is coming out, and yeah. the costumes went on to there. There is definitely the ability to transfer costumes to yeah, a new so it's there. game. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about the the banner photos leaked on Twitter? Yeah, um, that was kind of interesting. It was up on someone's Twitter feed temporarily, and yeah. uh, one of our followers grabbed it and uploaded uh-huh. it, and uh, the other person pulled it. So not really sure what's going on there. Yeah. Uh, it does look interesting. It does look legit, like it's yeah. an actual picture. But yeah, it does. Um, other than From- that. Mm-hmm. Uh, looking at the first screenshot, we can see point bubbles and some new costumes one of them I can't really tell and then the bunny costume and then there's like a wood material probably imported from another game right it's really hard to say yeah and uh, it'll be interesting to see how much of little big planet 2's mechanics they actually keep yeah um, there is the point bubble as you mentioned there yeah but it'll be interesting to see if they use life checkpoints or mm. you know anything else like that that's so um you know, normal to Little Big Planet now. So, yeah, looking at another screenshot on there, it has like the normal score bubble, like saying your points in a bubble, like it was in Little Big Planet Two and One, and has like the same font. And then the create right. mode they show in another screenshot looks pretty similar. Right. It looks very detailed. It does, and um, I think that's going to be one of the more interesting um, ideas to this mm-hmm. game is with as much flexibility as there was with the Little Big Planet 2 create mode, now yeah. trying to work that into a racing game is yeah. going to be completely different cuz you know like you could work with pistons and explosives yeah. and all that stuff to make these crazy contraptions and yeah. now you'll be able to kind of do that on a track. So yeah. Uh, interesting stuff there. And uh here's an idea. Do you think there will be weapons like power-ups in this? Yes, definitely. Uh, I was talking to Fodawim also on lb 2 blog, uh, he was saying in one of the screenshots in the corner, there's like a square kind of thing, and he was saying maybe that's for power-ups. Maybe you can collect things, and that will show what your power-up is. Right. Yeah, that's actually an interesting idea. And uh-huh. uh, if it does use, which I'm not really sure that it does at this point, but if it does use the sticker layer, then you could yeah. actually pretty much design your own UI like that. Yeah. So that would be amazing. That would be interesting, yeah. And uh, with emitters and stuff, that would definitely be feasible to yeah. do. See, it's it's a lot more in depth than Mod Nation Racers if they do incorporate everything from the original game. Right. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm really hoping that they do uh, uh-huh. incorporate a lot of features from Little Big Planet Two, because what made Little Big Planet Two so amazing was the flexibility and yeah. the uh, usability of its tools. So. Yeah. Also, uh, something that some people didn't like, but it was kind of okay, it was uh, that you only have four people in a pod together, in a level together, like in a party. Mm-hmm. But I see a split screen in one of the screenshots. Maybe you have a split screen and then maybe more than four people online. Right, and that's racing. another interesting point to bring up. Uh, the multiplayer aspect of this could get yeah. really, really crazy fun. So um, mm-hmm. hopefully we will see quite a large multiplayer base in this game so yeah. and that was another complaint from a lot of little big planet players four players and only three layers so it yeah. looks like you're not gonna have to worry about that in this yep. game so and uh, i wonder how logic is gonna work like if there is logic oh Michael yeah chips and i just thought about that <laughs> yeah um that's gonna be an entirely different field um yeah cause i'm not really <laughs> sure but, what if you can program your carts to do something else, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. Wow. And uh, direct control seats where you're able to program yeah. the controls. Uh, this game could definitely be one of the more in-depth and customizable games. And, uh-huh. you know, talking about cart customization, if you could build yeah. onto your own cart, that would be really neat. Uh-huh. I was thinking was, uh, I know on, uh, what was that new game? I can't remember... Uh, Give me a second. I can't. I gotta look it up. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, okay. Twist the metal. Right, I know in yeah. Twist the metal, you uh, they were talking about on radio PlayStation. You could uh, 
they were giving away the vector images or templates and you could draw on it and then import it to your game and make a custom cart. I think that would oh, be yeah. really cool. Yeah, that would be a really neat idea. And uh, mm -hmm. with being able to customize your cart like that and even stickers and stuff, that could be uh -huh. a, quite a bit of fun to do. Um, something else that Fadwan brought up to me is uh, do you think levels and all that will be up on lbp.me? You think racetracks like that would be up on there? Hmm. You know, I really haven't thought about that at all, but yeah. um, it would make sense. Probably a different sorting, uh, like how they have, uh -huh. you can sort through Little Big Planet 1, Little Big Planet 2, yeah. and move. There would probably be something in there like little big planet carting and yeah. you could just sort through cart levels but yeah um yeah and you know the more we talk about this the more uh -huh. i'm seeing this actually working pretty yeah. well <laughs> at yeah. first i was like eh, yeah. not really sure but this yeah, is actually doubtful. pretty cool yeah and i think if they come out there and uh show off some of these different and cool features i think this game could be a uh -huh. very big hit it could i mean it I see it working out. I definitely see it working out. Right. So, with that, do you have any other thoughts or features that you would like to see implemented into Little Big Planet Carding? Um, I definitely want to see like custom music. Yeah, Another, that would be that's cool. That's a Little Planet too, but different company. You never know. But I definitely want to see custom music. Yeah, that would be a nice feature to be able to have in there. And even when you think about it, music that's sequenced to your track, that would be very yeah, cool. Definitely. So, wow, this is such a cool game that we're thinking of here. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah and uh, with custom music and stuff, that would bring an yeah. entirely different aspect to the game as well. Going back to some of our Twitter followers on LBB2 blog, um, I asked them, what do you think about the LVP carding? And one of them, I taste like chicken, he said it could turn out to be a way better version of Mod Nation Racers or it could be trash. Right, and yeah. That is true. It could be trash. People would be like, oh my god, this is the same exact thing as Mod Nation Racers. Right. And, and uh, mm. we actually had an interesting point brought up from one of our followers. He said, mm. uh, um, you know, Mod Nation Racers, it didn't exactly sell as well as it could have uh -huh. because it didn't have that name behind it to push yeah. it into, um, you know, being a successful game. But this will have the Little Big Planet name on there. People yeah. recognize and love Sackboy as a very, yeah, you know, likable definitely. character. So it'll be interesting. Also, something one of our other followers, followers uh, Old Mario, I think his name is, he did not like the. The loading screens from mm -hmm. United Front Gaming, like the the games they made, he says the loading screens were very long, and that yeah. didn't help them at all. No, no, and I know some of that is just impossible to make the game work any faster. Uh -huh. But the loading screens were definitely a pain in Bond Nation. Yeah. So, in the beta of Luba Plant Two, loading screens were a bit of a problem, but they ended up fixing it. So hopefully, in the right, carding yeah. version, it'll be nice. Yeah, and, um, you know, there were just a lot of different ideas going around with, uh, you know, Mod Nation Racers and the custom tracks and stuff. Yeah. And there were some really complex tracks, and uh -huh. I will give it to them. It did take some time to load, but yeah. they did a good job with overall making it work. So mm -hmm. I was impressed. Yeah. And another one of our followers, LK Cody, said, My thoughts is that. This could easily be done through a carding expansion for LVP2. No need for a full game. Now, that is kind of debatable, but I don't yeah. think it could happen. I, I see where it's aspect. coming from, but the physics and all that stuff would just be yeah ridiculous to try to squeeze into the same yeah. game. Plus, being able to sell an actual retail uh -huh. game is a lot more you yeah, know easy definitely. to market than uh, selling a DLC kit. So. If if you did make this an expansion pack, it'd be like a sixty dollar expansion pack. Cause right. I yeah. definitely seen this a new game. Yeah, because you have to put the same amount of work into it for uh -huh. sure, trying to develop it. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to mm -hmm. see. So, I would expect a full retail disc package. Yeah, definitely. And with that, um, it will support three D and PlayStation Move. That's so, true. Um, you know. 
3D is not currently incorporated into Little Big Planet Two. That's very but, true. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like it would exactly fall in line mm-hmm. to um, work. So. Yeah. Um, what do you think the downfalls are of them making a carding game? Um, potentially people would see it as the exact same game as Mod Nation Racers and yeah. not give it a chance. Um, that's the big one that I see right off the bat. Definitely. Uh, a couple of other things that could go wrong with it, um, you know, just minor things like, uh, copyright infringement by the community uh yeah. <laughs> you know just different things like that that yeah. could go wrong and not be necessarily the best but you know um i guess that still happens with any game with user generated yeah. content but i think the big thing that they're gonna have to overcome is selling it as a different game than mod nation racers yeah so uh, something else i just thought of was since it's move compatible in Mod Nation Racers, you had this car that you would drive around that would make the course. You think you'd be able to make courses with the uh, move oh. controller, like drawing. Yeah, it. by like painting them. Uh, yeah, that Paint- would be a very yeah. neat feature. And painting and, the environment. Right. Yeah. Uh, I could definitely see that working. So. Yeah. But as for how the environments are going to be, I'm mm-hmm. not really sure. Like, yeah. are they going to be realistic, or are they uh-huh. going to be on the top of your desk? Or what? Oh, yeah, not it's, really gonna, sure. it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be a really good game. I think that it will be probably one of the better games that's going to come out in the next year. So yeah, hopefully in the next year. <laughs> yeah. So and probably we will most likely see this is uh, in creating in Little Planet series the normal one. You would only create in the front. You couldn't create. You can kind of create on the sides, but you couldn't get that detailed. So hopefully you can right. create a full three D object yeah and that would be one it's not quite as user friendly but i Uh think there should definitely be the option to do so um that would be a neat idea yeah and yeah so and the more customizable they make it Uh the better people will like it so so one more thing before we go um Uh playstation vita support do you think this will happen in this game hmm that's a good thing i don't know because that's a really good question. I don't know because I'm not really sure how Vita is compatible with LVP2 right now. I'm not sure what are the capabilities, so I'm not really sure how carding yeah. would be comp- compatible with the Vita. Yeah, the one thing that kind of brought that into my mind is MotorStorm RC. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it sounds like kind of a similar idea, yeah. um, and that is going to be cross-platform. So it would be really neat to be able to see these games joined together and yeah. with uh, little big planet vita coming out in the next couple of months um yeah. it'll be interesting to see if they're able to implement uh little big planet carding into this game at all yeah so it'd be very interesting to see that very yeah I, i'd be excited about it so any other thoughts before we wrap up um Last thing I have to say is I think everyone should reconsider the idea about carding because, like I said before, people are like, "Ah, I don't know. But, like, think about all the possibilities and everything about it. Yeah. (laughs) My voice definitely cracked right there. Um, (laughs) Yeah, definitely give this some consideration and uh, think about the game before you judge it immediately um, off of what it seems like. Uh, Let Sony come out and tell you, what exactly yeah. this game is going to be, and yeah. I think it'll be a pretty good game. It's so be great. Are you sure you don't want to say anything else while you're on here about following LBP2 blog on Twitter or visiting <laughs> LBP2 blog.com? Uh, no, I don't think I have anything else to say. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Tyler, and uh, make sure you head on over to LBP2 blog.com and follow them on Twitter. Really great site, really great people over there, and they have a very nice forum set up so you can get over there and use that as well. So, uh, thanks again for joining us, and I will see you guys next time, and goodbye. Say goodbye, Tyler. Bye. (laughs)